Hi and welcome to the Streamweaver tutorial. My name is Daniel Walter Scott and I'm a trainer here at Bring Your Own Laptop. Now in this tutorial we're going to look at setting the background color of your website. So the first thing we need to do is we need to figure out how to add the background color, what tag to add it to, and it's the body tag. Okay, now the body tag we've briefly discussed through um, the tutorials, but essentially what it is, the body tag is everything that the user sees on the website. So if I look in code view, Okay, I've got two main tags. I've got this body tag. You can see it starts here and it goes all the way to the end of my website here. Okay, so that's my body tag. That's everything that the user sees. Now, um, there's another tag, the head tag. Okay, and this is the stuff that the user doesn't see. So this has things like my title for my website that appears in search engines. Okay, it has a link here to my CSS sheet. So this stuff doesn't get displayed to the user, but it's very important for a website and it's in the head we're going to look at this body tag okay and this is the tag that we color to get the background color so i'm going to go back to design view because it's my preference now i'm going to click anywhere on my website i'm going to click the body tag here down in my breadcrumbs and over here i'm going to create a style for this body tag it's the exact same principle as styling your h1 tag or your heading one tag that we did in an earlier um, tutorial so Clicking on body just helps us preload this thing over here. So select the body tag down here in breadcrumbs. Click the main.css in the sources here. We're gonna ignore media at the moment. Okay, and in the selectors panel, we're gonna hit this little plus button. Now it's gonna try and default to our body and pick the paragraph tag as well. So we're just gonna delete the P tag and just have the body and hit enter. Okay, I had to hit it twice. Now, now I'm styling this tag called body now what I want to do is go to the background icon fourth one along and pick background color now what color do I want to pick I can type it in down here okay if I know what the hexadecimal number is I need to leave the hash there and type it in if you know the RGB color okay you can type it in here or you can just mix around with the hue slider here and go through and pick a color click enter you'll see it colors the background. If you've got a specific color you want to use, okay, and it's in, say it's from one of these images here, you can go back into color and hit this little eyedropper. This eyedropper tool will allow you to move around your document, and can you see, as I move around in this top image here, you'll notice that the color gets updated in the hue um, down here. So let's move it around. I'm gonna pick this color here, click enter, and you'll notice it matches this top color. Now there's a slight problem because I would like the background to be that color, but I'd like the actual container div to be white, so it sits in the middle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna style that container div, so I'm gonna click inside, anywhere inside my website, and you can see down in my breadcrumbs, I've got the container, and that was everything um, so we could send to the website. We can also color this box though, so watch this. So I've got container selected in my selectors, I'm gonna go down to background and I'm gonna pick white. I'm just gonna drag it from the top right hand corner there. So I'm gonna drag it all the way up to the top and choose and look, choose white. Click OK. And you'll notice that now I have a background. It's very hard to see. Let's look at it in preview mode. So I'm gonna use this little globe in the top right hand corner and I'm gonna preview in Chrome. And you'll notice here I've got a background color of that tealy blue but my container here has the white background where I can see my type. All right, that's the end of this tutorial. I'll see you in the next one.